TV. Viewer discretion is advised. Basketball, that was LeBron James beating Draymond Green off the dribble and, and going through the chest of Kevin Durant at the rim to ensure that you're taking matters into your own hands up by two. Tell me like the right here, Stephen A on ESPN Radio. So with all that being said, let me take you let me take you to something because psychologically, I mean you can break down the X's and O's, but you also break things down psychologically. That's why I love talking basketball with you, Tim. LeBron James is on the record citing the Warriors' immense firepower. Prior to the series beginning, after beating Boston, he didn't even want to talk about the Warriors because it was too stressful to think about them. Then the other day before game three. He brings up his numbers, and now he's averaging a triple-double, basically giving the impression, look, if we lost, I did my job. I'm uncomfortable with all of that because I don't hear champions talking like that. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. And actually, it's, uh, you're the first person that has brought up to me, and I, I don't even know, I, I thought even seen it brought up anywhere. When he made that comment after they closed out Boston, I thought that was so strange to say, I don't want to talk about them. It's one thing to say, look, man, we just closed out the East. I'm going to enjoy this tonight with my teammates. We're flying back to Cleveland. We're going to enjoy ourselves. I will start focusing on the task at hand in the morning with the Golden State Warriors. That is a more than acceptable answer. Absolutely. But to say that it is too stressful, could you imagine those words coming out of some of the other all-time greats that we often refer to? When we it never happened. Magic? It never happened. Could you imagine Larry Bird saying, man, I don't know, man. I, I don't even want to think about Magic in the Lakers. That's too stressful for me. Could you imagine Michael saying that about any of the teams he had to get through? Or Kobe? No. I mean, it's like I said, you could deflect it without having to add that on there. So I thought that was odd. You're the first person to ask me about that. I'm glad you did because I actually had forgotten that that happened. But the night it happened, I was watching that live, and it struck me immediately as very strange. So again, what does that say? Well, I, mean, I just think that there is something, look, that's not 100% certain. And then think about this now. Think about what I'm saying because, and I think you agree with me, it sounds like, think about how scary it is that he is able to do what he does. If I'm telling you there may be even a small percentage, even if it's 2%, 3% of doubt in his mind that he could end up with a resume that is that, that no one else can touch by the time he's done with what he will have accomplished on the court in, in terms of being all-time leading scorer, four MVPs, and who knows you know, what, the, what the titles are going to end up. Doesn't look good right now because he's got to deal with this team for a while, but all of it combined, you know, he'll be top five in assists when he's done. All of that stuff combined, and you say, and yet there's something slightly off in the deep recesses. And it comes out, and I think he, he's better served sometimes keeping that to mm -hmm. himself because it opens you up to... to as, as an athlete or as, as somebody covering him, mm -hmm. to wonder, like, what, what what do you mean by that? Why is this stressing you out to think about playing them? If, you know, even if it is, you don't admit things like that. Check me out on patreon.com backslash ticket TV. This is the Patreon channel right here that you guys are looking at. You got different access levels on the right to content, exclusive content, collaborations, and deep, deep, deep discussions on various issues within sports, media, politics, uh, social issues, you name it, we got it. Facebook as well. Uh, like the page, subscribe to the page. You'll get all of the updates of the videos here on YouTube. Or most of them that I can, I'll post on the Facebook page so you guys can keep up with what's going on. That's facebook.com backslash ticket TV. You guys can check the link to this in the description box as well. And check me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash ticket TV one. And you guys can come check. I always pretty much try to tweet out a lot of the videos that I post on YouTube here. And and if you you know like the content on my channel, like the content on this video right here, man, you guys can feel free to drop something down there in that PayPal. Uh, you can click right here on the link. I'll put it in the description box, uh, so you, it takes you directly to this PayPal account. And you can go click on here with donate to PayPal or donate with a debit or credit card. It is what it is, man. You know, it's all love. I appreciate it. I'm gone.